of grade 8 children. Today I am here to teach you chapter 6 in your textbook that's solids. So what are solids? Take a stone that's a solid 3D figure, a cuboid, a brick, a die. So those are solid. So you get different shapes. In this lesson we'll discuss certain types of solids. So what are solids? Object that has a specific shape and which occupies a certain amount of space is called a solid. Surfaces of solids can be curved or plain. So take a tin, biscuit tin. So you get curved surface as well as plain surfaces. And when you take a cube, cuboid, you get only plain surfaces. So you get different types of solids with curved as well as plain surfaces. So you need to know what are these terms. V, we can say vertices. F is faces and E, edges. We'll see what are edges, faces and vertices in certain solids. First shape that you have to learn about a cube. What is a cube? All sides you get squares. All sides are equal. Now we'll look at a cube and see what are edges, vertices and faces. So I have a model with me. So this is a cube. When you take one side that's a square. So when you turn this way, you get squares. Now first thing we need to look at number of faces. So how many faces are there? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 faces are there. Number of edges. So these lines are called edges. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And 5, 6, 7, 8 and sideways 9, 10, 11, 12. So all together 12 edges are there. Number of vertices. Vertices are these points. 1, 2, 3, 4. Other side another 4, 4 plus 4, 8. So when you look at this diagram. You can figure out number of faces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And vertices. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And number of edges. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 edges are there. Now we'll find out what's the sum of faces and edges. Faces and vertices. V plus F. Vertices plus faces. V is 8 and 6. So 8 plus 6 you get 14. Now take E plus 2. Edges plus 2, edges 12, 12 plus 2 also, you are getting 14. So what can you say about this? We can write V plus F vertices plus faces is equal to edges plus 2. So vertices plus faces is equal to edges plus 2. So this is called Euler's relationship. So Euler found out that he is a mathematician. He found out the vertices and faces when you add it, it's equal to the edges plus 2. Now we look at these shapes. First one is a cuboid, like a brick. Second one, a cube. A die, a regular tetrahedron. So here... All sides are triangles and 
a square pyramid. So you get a square in the base and all the other sides are triangles. And a triangular prism means you get two triangles and you get three rectangles. So that's called a triangular prism. So these all are solids. A regular, regular means all sides are equal. Now we'll take those shapes and identify vertices, faces and edges. Take the first one, what do you call that? A cuboid. How many vertices are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many faces? Like cube, you get six faces. Edges, you can count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve edges are there. So same as a cube. B is a cube. We did that before. So you get same number of vertices, faces and edges like the cuboid. See a regular tetrahedron. Have you seen a regular tetrahedron? So I'll show you. This is a regular tetrahedron. All sides you get triangles but regular means this is like isosceles triangles here, but if all sides are equal, we call it regular tetrahedron. So C, regular tetrahedron. Now we'll see how many vertices are there. One, two, three, four. How many faces? One, two, three, and bottom, so you get four. Edges, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six edges are there. So you can use this diagram as well. So here from this, one, two, three, four, four vertices, and one, two, three, four, five, six, six edges and four faces. Now take D. D is a square pyramid. So how many vertices are there? One, two, three, four, five. How many faces? One, two, three, four, and bottom you get five. How many edges? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And E is a triangular prism. So how many vertices are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six vertices are there. How many faces? One, two, three, four, five. And how many edges? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine edges are there. Now we'll see whether there's a relationship between vertices and faces with edges plus two. So the first one, a cuboid, you get eight plus six, that's 14. 12 plus two, that's 14. So these two are equal, equal. Euler's relationship is true. B is a cube. 
same as q by you get 14 here yeah. 12 plus 2 you get 40 so that's also true part c is a regular tetrahedron regular tetrahedron 4 4 6 4 4 and 6 here what you get 4 plus 4 8 6 plus 2 8 so you are getting the same so Euler's relationship is true D we found 5 5 8 5 5 and here edges 8 5 and 5 10 8 plus 2 also 10 so we can say Euler's relationship is true for D as well. What about E? E is a triangular prism. 6, 5, 9. 6, 5, 9. So 6 plus 5, 11. 9 plus 2, that's 11. So same thing. So Euler's relationship is true. So what can you say about all these? Solids, we can say V plus F is equal to E plus 2. So, if you write down the words, this is vertices. This is faces is equal to edges plus 2. Now, we'll look at this solid regular octahedron so what is octahedron means octa means eight eight sides are there so how can we create that so can you see one two three four five six seven eight triangles are there so regular means all sides are equal so these are equilateral triangles so when you take eight equilateral triangles you can create this regular octahedron. So cut out the above figure and prepare a model of regular octahedron by folding along these edges. Examine and identify the special features of the model. So we'll see what are the features, what are the vertices, edges and faces in regular octahedron. So I have a model to show you. So this is the regular octahedron. Eight sides are there. So there are how many faces? You get eight equilateral triangles. So eight faces are there. All faces are the shape of identical equilateral triangles. There are how many vertices? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and this one 6. So there are 6 vertices in a regular octahedron. And how many straight edges are there? 1, 2, 3, 4 and here also 4. 4 and 4, 8 and here around this 8 plus 4. You get 12 straight edges in a regular octahedron. Length of the edges are equal because we say this is a regular octahedron. So all sides are equal. Edges intersect to make a vertex. So this is a vertex. How many edges intersect? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 edges intersect to make a vertex point. How many faces intersect to make a vertex point? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 faces also. When it intersects, it makes a vertex point. So this is a vertex point. Now, remember this one. To make a regular octahedron, you need 8 equilateral triangles. So practice to draw the net to make the regular octahedron. The next solid shape you need to know is about dodecahedron. 
So door decker means 12. 12 faces are there. So what are these shapes? Five sided figure, pentagons. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 regular pentagons. When you connect together, you get dodecahedron. This is a regular dodecahedron with 12 faces. It consists of 12 regular pentagons with same area. So cut out the above figure and prepare a model of regular dodecahedron by folding along these edges. Examine and identify the special features of the model. Practice to draw the net to make regular dodecahedron. So we'll see what are the vertices, edges and faces. So I'll show you a model for that. So this is a regular dodecahedron. So all these are pentagons. Now we'll see how many faces I told you. Dodeca means, dodecagon means 12 faces, 12 sided polygon. So 12 faces are there. So remember that it's 12 faces. All faces are the shape of identical regular pentagons. There are how many vertices? Now we'll see how many vertices are there. So we can take up. There are 5 and down also 5. 5 and 5, 10. What about around this? We'll start from this vertex point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we counted this one, 10. So 5 and 5, 10. 10 plus 10, 20. 20 vertices are there. And there are edges. How many edges are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 above. 5 down. And here, another 5 and another 5. So 5, 10, 20 now. What about around? We'll start from this line. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we counted this one. So 10 and 10, 10. All together, 30 straight edges are in a regular dodecahedron. So length of the edges are equal because this is a regular dodecahedron. Now we'll take another solid, icosahedron. Icosa means 20. 20 faces are there. This is used to decorate Christmas trees and take as vesa lanterns. So how can we make the icosahedron? You need 20 equilateral triangles. Cut out the above figure and prepare a model of regular icosahedron by folding along edges. Examine and identify the special features of the model. So we'll see how many edges, vertices and faces in icosahedron. So this is an icosahedron. I'll show you a model. So this is icosahedron. So how many equilateral triangles are there? So you get 20 equilateral triangles. So remember, this is 20. 20 faces are there. All faces are the shape of identical equilateral triangles. And how many vertices are there? So count and see. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here around 5. So 1 plus 5, 6. So you get the same thing here, 6 and 6, 12. So you get 12 vertices in a regular icosahedron. And how many edges are there? 
So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And down also 5. And we need to count this way 5, this way 5. So 5, 5, 10, 15, 20 now. Now we'll see side how many edges are there. We'll start from this line. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we started from this point. So 10 there. So all together, how many edges are there? 30. So 30 straight edges in a regular icosahedron length of the edges are equal because this is a regular icosahedron now we'll fill in the blanks using previous solids so can you remember regular tetrahedron how many vertices we got one and then three so four Faces, three triangles and below, four. Edges, six. So what's V plus F? Faces and vertices, four plus four, you get eight. And E edges, we got six, six plus two, you get eight. So what can you say about Euler's relationship? That's true. Cube, can you remember cube? How many vertices? Eight. And faces? Six. And edges? Twelve. So when you take V plus F, eight plus six, that's fourteen. Twelve plus two also fourteen. So that means Euler's relationship is true. Regular octahedron. Now we'll look at this one. Regular octahedron. Octa means eight. So eight faces are there. And can you remember we did that? We got six vertices and 12 edges. Now we'll see vertices plus faces. Six plus eight, you get 14. And edges plus two, you get 14. So that's true. Euler's relationship is true. Now regular dodecahedron. Dodeca means 12 faces. So remember that. And then we got 30 edges and 20 vertices. Now we'll see whether it's true. 20 plus 12, you get 32. And 30 plus 2, also 32. So that's true. And regular icosahedron. Icosa means 20 faces. So remember that one. 20 faces are there. And we got this one 12. And this is 30. So what's V plus F? So 12 plus 20 is 32 and 30 plus 2 also 32. So this is true for this solid as well. So how can we remember these edges, vertices and faces? Look at this one. So easily you can remember regular tetrahedron and cube here. This is cuboid. Cube and cuboid, you get the same thing. And here, octahedron, remember this 8. And then, dodecahedron, remember 12 and 32. Then you can fill the other values. And regular icosahedron also, remember 20 and 32. 
So when you subtract, you get the same here. Same edges for both regular dodecahedron and regular icosahedron. What are platonic solids? You have learned five types of regular solids that are introduced by the mathematician Plato. So therefore we call it as platonic solids having identical regular polygonal faces. The same number of faces meeting at every vertex. So in platonic solids we know that vertices plus faces is equal to edges plus 2. So platonic means regular polygonal faces. What are they? We learnt about that. Regular tetrahedron, cube, regular octahedron, regular dodecahedron and regular icosahedron. Those are the five platonic solids. Now we'll look at this question. Select the nets which cannot be constructed a cube. Now look at carefully. This one you can make a cube. So this is the bottom surface and then you can create the cube by folding these along these edges. So this is okay. You can create a cube. But what happens here when you keep this one as the base? You can create all sides, but what happens to the top part? So you can't create a cube there. This one, here when you fold it, these two sides come this way. But we can't fold this one to make a cube. So you can't make the top part. So this is also wrong. And what about this one? Bottom is here. So you get two faces here. And when you put it up, you can create a cube. So you can create here a cube there. Label the given nets of cubes which the sum of opposite sides is equal to 7. So that means if you take up and bottom, the sum should be 7. So here 1 done for you. So when you create this one, this is the bottom. And you get this is the uppermost part. So 5 plus 2, 7. So likewise you are getting opposite side. How can we create another one? So you can put any number there. If this is 4, so this is the upper part for this one. So 4 plus 3, that's 7. If this is 6, this and this side, you need to get 7. And 5 with 2. You can put any number. You'll put 5 there. If this is 5, this should be 2. Because this is up and down. And here side, these 2. So you can put 1 and 6 there. And uh, here, if this is 4, this should be 3. So you can create, you can put any number and see to get the sum of opposite sides is equal to 7. From which net that can be constructed a square pyramid? Here, this is a square and you get 4 triangles. Now you can Close this side and this side. What about this side? We can't connect this one here. So you can't create a square pyramid from this. When you take this one, this comes here. And then you can fold it and create a square pyramid here. So that's correct. This one, you can fold it here and here, but you can't close it from this triangle so you can't create so what's the number number two is the correct diagram below is a composite solid made out of a cube and a square pyramid find out number of faces vertices and edges and check whether euler's relationship 
satisfies the satisfies for the solid. Now consider faces. Here when you take the cube ball, cube, you are not getting six faces because here the upper part is closed with this pyramid. So you get five here. And what about this one? So you get four. Four plus five, nine. Nine faces are there. Vertices, we'll count. Vertices, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine vertices are there. Edges, one, two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 edges are there. Now we'll add faces and vertices. Faces and vertices, 9 plus 9. So you get 18. E plus 2, 16 plus 2 you get 18. So what can you say about the Euler's relationship? It's true. Below is a triangular prism. Find out number of phases, vertices and edges and check where the Euler's relationship satisfy for the solid. Now phases. Two triangles and three rectangles. So three plus two, five phases are there. Vertices, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 vertices are there. Edges, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now we'll add faces and vertices. 5 plus 6, you get 11. E plus 2, edges 9, 9 plus 2, 11. So what can you say about Euler's relationship? That's true. Below is a prism with cross section as trapezium. Find out number of faces, vertices and edges and check whether Euler's relationship satisfy for the solid. Faces. So you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So like a cube, six faces are there. Vertices, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Edges, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So same as a cube or cuboid. Faces plus vertices, you get 6 plus 8, that's 14. Edges plus 2, 12 plus 2, you get 14. So both are the same. So you can write the Euler's relationship is true. Below is a prism with cross section as trapezium. Find out number of phases, vertices and edges and check whether Euler's relationship satisfy for the solid. Now same as before. So how many phases are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 phases are there. Vertices 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 vertices. Edges, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 edges are there. Now add faces and vertices. You get 6 plus 8. That's 14. E plus 2 means 12 plus 2. That's 14. So you get same as this. So Euler's relationship is true. 
below is a prism with cross section as trapezium. Find out number of faces, vertices and edges and check whether Euler's relationship satisfies for the solid. How many faces? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and the bottom one 6. Vertices? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Edges? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And here this one? 12. We can't see that, but it's behind. So 12. F plus V faces plus vertices, 6 plus 8, you get 14. Edges plus 2, 12 plus 2, that's also 14. So you get Euler's relationship is true. Now we we'll look at review exercise. Fill in the blanks in the table given below. A cuboid. So can you remember? 12 edges, 6 faces and 8 vertices. So cube is the same as cuboid. So 12, 6, 8. Regular tetrahedron. Tetrahedron, you can draw a triangle like this and another triangle here. And you can connect. So this is a regular tetrahedron. How many faces? 1, 2, 3, 4. Faces 4. Edges. We'll count vertices first. 1, 2, 3, 4. And edges. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 edges. Square pyramid. How can you draw a square pyramid? You can first draw a square and take any vertex point and connect to all these lengths. So that's a square pyramid. How many edges are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 edges are there. Faces, so 4 around and bottom one, that's 5. Vertices, 1, 2, 3, 4, And triangular prism, how can you draw a triangular prism? You can draw a triangle here, another triangle and then connect all sides like this. This is a triangular prism. How many edges? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 edges are there. How many faces? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five faces and how many vertices? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six vertices are there. Draw nets that can be used to construct the following solids. A square pyramid. So how can you draw? Square pyramid means a square and four triangles. So you need to draw a square here and then triangles around. So these sides are equal. So that means these also needs to be equal. So all sides are equal. So that's a square pyramid. Triangular prism you need, you need two triangles and three rectangles. So you can take three rectangles like this and two triangles there. When you fold it, you can get a triangular prism. Question number three. 
a figure of a solid constructed by pasting together two triangular faces of two identical regular tetrahedrons one on the other is given here find the number of edges faces and vertices of the solid so we'll look at number of faces f f is number of faces so you get here one two three four five six six faces are there then how many edges are there edges one two three four five six seven eight nine nine edges how many vertices one two three four five three equals five now we'll see whether the Euler's relationship is true vertices plus faces so v equals 5 plus phase 6, you get 11. Now we'll check e plus 2. Edges is 9, 9 plus 2, you get 11. So in this one, vertices plus faces is equal to e plus 2. So Euler's relationship is a solid constructed by joining a cube and a square pyramid is shown in the figure. Find the number of edges, faces and vertices of this solid. So we will find out edges. Edges. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 edges are there. How many vertices are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 vertices are there. How many faces are there? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 4 around here. This is for the cube you can take 5 except the top part so 5 plus 4 9 now we'll check whether the Euler's relationship is true v plus f 9 plus 9 you get 18 edges plus 2 16 plus 2 also 18 now and you see V plus F is equal to edges plus 2. So Euler's relationship is true. Exercise 6.1. Name the solid which can be constructed using each net given below. So rectangles and two another rectangle. This is a cuboid. This one, one, two, three, four, four triangles, tetrahedron. Here it's not mentioned all sides are equal. If it's all sides are equal, this is a regular tetrahedron. So, one side is an equilateral triangle. Now, how many faces are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 faces. What's the name? Regular octahedron. If all sides are equal, we call it a regular one. Regular octahedron. Then this is six squares. So what you call that? Cube, cube, not cuboid. Cube. This one, two triangles and three rectangles. 
triangular prism. How many triangles are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 means icosa, icosahedron. So this is regular icosahedron. Exercise 6.2. Verify Euler's relationship for a regular tetrahedron by considering the number of phases, vertices and edges it has. So it's easy to draw a regular tetrahedron. So big triangle and a small triangle like this and then connect. So this is tetrahedron and how many vertices are there? So how many vertices are there? We'll count. One, two, three, four. Four vertices are there. How many edges? You can count. One, two, three, four, five, six. And how many faces? One. Two, three, four. So around three and bottom one, that's four. So four, six, four. Now we'll verify Euler's relationship. So according to Euler's relationship, V plus F vertices plus faces is equal to edges plus two. Now left hand side. V plus F, 4 plus 4, you get 8. Right hand side, edges 6 plus 2, you get 8. So left hand side is equal to right hand side. So you can say it's true. Euler's relationship is true for this solid. That's regular tetrahedron. Look at question number two. For a square pyramid, write down the number of faces, vertices and edges. Show that the above values satisfy Euler's relationship. Square pyramid. So you can draw a square like this and connect to a point. So this is a square base pyramid. And now you can count how many vertices. One, two, three, four, five. How many faces? One down and four triangles. Four plus one, five faces are there. And how many edges? Edges I can use. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we'll see whether Euler's relationship is true. V plus F is E plus two. Vertices five. Faces five. So you get ten here. Edges 8 plus 2, this is also 10. So left hand side is equal to right hand side. So this is true. Euler's relationship is true for square pyramid. Question number 3. If a certain solid has 9 edges, 6 vertices and if Euler's relationship is satisfied, find the number of faces it has. So we know according to the Euler's relation, vertices plus faces is edges plus 2. We know how many vertices are there? 6. How many edges? 9. 
Now we need to find out how many faces. So we will put f for faces and we will try to solve the equation. 9 plus 2, 11. 6 plus f is 11. So what's f? Subtract 6 from both sides. So 11 minus 6, you get 5. So 5 faces. Question number 4. A figure of a composite solid is shown here. Determine with reasons where the Euler's relationship is satisfied for this solid. So we need to count vertices, faces, edges. Now we'll see vertices. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Faces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then 4 around, 4 triangles, 5 plus 4, 9. Edges, edges 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 edges. Now we'll see whether it's true. V plus F is E plus 2. Now we'll check. V is 9, faces 9. So left hand side is 18. What about right hand side? E means 16 plus 2. So you get 18 here. So left hand side is equal to right hand side. So this is true for this solid. Question number 5. A certain solid has 10 edges, 6 faces. Find the number of vertices it has if Euler's relationship is satisfied. So here, what's the equation? V plus F is E plus 2. V vertices. So you need to find out that. F, 6 faces, is given 10 edges. Now, if it's true, this satisfies, so you can solve the equation. V plus 6 is equal to 10 plus 2, 12. Subtract 6 from both sides. You get V equals 12 minus 6. So, 6 vertices. Question number 6. The figure given here shows a pyramid of which the upper portion has been cut out and removed. Verify Euler's relationship for this solid. Okay, so we'll find out number of vertices. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 vertices are there. How many edges? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And how many faces? So here, 4 around, 4 and then 2 upper face and the bottom face. So 6. Now we'll check whether this is true. V plus F equals E plus 2. Left hand side, V 8 plus 6 and E is 12 plus 2. So 8 plus 6 is 14, 12 plus 2 is 14. So this is left hand side and this is right hand side. This is equal. So two sides are equal. Therefore, Euler's relationship is true for this solid. 
exercise 6.3 complete the table given below so cube shape of the face of the solid we know that's that's a square are all the faces regular yes regular are the number of faces meeting at each vertex equal equal so when you take one point one two three so when you take this one also one two three so equal number of faces meeting a vertex number of faces also equal number of edges one two three one two three so three edges meet at vertex and three faces meet at a vertex is the solid a platonic solid platonic solids those are regular ones yes that's a regular one now we'll take cuboid so when you take a cuboid you can get square or a rectangle so are all the faces regular no rectangle two opposite sides are equal not all sides are equal not regular are the number of faces meeting at each vertex equal if you take this vertex number of faces one two three if this is the vertex one two three so that's equal number of faces meeting at a vertex point so how many three is the solid a platonic solid no this is not regular it's not a platonic solid regular tetrahedron so each one is a equilateral triangle so each shape is an equilateral triangle so that's regular are the number of faces meeting at each vertex equal if you take this one one two three here get one two three yes equal and it's three and is the solid a platonic solid Yes, because this is a regular one. This one regular octahedron. So regular means all sides are equal and octahedron. Eight sides are there. Each one is equilateral triangle. So this is regular. And if you take this vertex, how many sides are there? Four. If you take this one, one, two, three, four. So equal, and what's the number? That's four. So yes, this is a platonic solid. More shapes are there. Regular dodecahedron. Dodeca means 12 sided figure. So each side, it's a regular pentagon all the faces regular yes i'll write regular are the number of faces meeting at each vertex equal we'll look at it if you take this one one two three you take this one one two three yes equal and three vertices three faces meet at one vertex is a solid a platonic solid yes because this is regular regular icosahedron how many sides 20 triangles are there so that's regular one and what you call that equilateral triangles are there so 
that's regular and we'll check if you take this vertex how many faces one two three four five if you take this one one two three four five five faces meet at one vertex point that's equal and this is a platonic shape so you can write down that's here's a platonic solid and the last one is a composite solid consisting of a cuboid and a square pyramid so what are the shapes you are getting now we'll look at the last one composite solid consisting of a cuboid and a square pyramid so cuboid means a rectangle square so you can get so you can get rectangle square and here equilateral triangles and are these regular no because rectangles are there so not regular and are the number of faces meeting at each vertex equal let's check if you take this one you get one two three four if you take one point here this one you get one two three four if you take this point you get only three so that means it's not equal we can't give exact numbers so sometimes three sometimes four so is the solid a platonic no it's not a platonic solid question number two construct a regular icosahedron and 20 regular tetrahedron such that the icosahedron and the tetrahedrons have edges of equal length. Construct a composite solid by pasting a tetrahedron on each face of the icosahedron for the composite figure and find out the number of edges and the number of faces and the number of vertices. So this means when you take 20 Tetra, regular tetrahedrons and when you paste it what you get you get a icosahedron so you get an icosahedron so here if you take this one icosahedron so and this is tetrahedron if all sides are equal here when you paste it 20 of these equivalent to one icosahedron so basically they are asking number of edges number of faces and number of vertices of a of an icosahedron solid so that means you know already icosahedron is how many faces 20 faces so here number of faces 20 and then remember 32 32 is the total then number of edges is 32 minus 2 that's 30 this is number of vertices is how you get 32 you are adding 12 to that so 30 20 and 12 from the following select the platonic solids and write down the corresponding numbers so this is not regular not a platonic so here this is a platonic shape that's cube this is a platonic shape regular tetrahedron and here this can be a square so this is not a regular one and here this is a regular one so if this is 12 sides one so we call this is this is 10 
10 plus 2, 12 sides are there. So what you call that? That's dodecahedron. And this is, it can be a square or a rectangle here. So it is not regular. So you can't take that one. And prism is also not a regular one. So that's not platonic solid. And what's this? This is icosahedron. Icosahedron is 20. Equilateral triangles are there. So what are the shapes? Now look at this one. Here you get eight faces. And equilateral triangles, we can say regular octahedron. So that's a platonic solid. And prism is not a platonic solid. It's not regular. And what is this? 20 faces with all equilateral triangles. Icosahedron is a platonic shape. So what are the platonic shapes? 2, 3, 5, 6 and 8. They are called platonic solids. Again, what are the platonic solids? Regular tetrahedron, cube, regular octahedron, regular dodecahedron and regular icosahedron. So you can remember tetra means four, four faces are there, octa, eight faces are there, dodeca, dodeca means 12, 12 faces are there, icosa means 20 faces. And remember again, what's the next thing you need to remember? The total is 32 here as well as 32 here. Then easily you can find out the number of fa uh, faces we know, edges and vertices. So remember octa means 80, octa means 8, dodeca means 12, icosa means 20. So we covered all theory related to solids. So what are the things we discussed? The sum of the number of faces and the number of vertices of a solid with straight edges is 2 more than the number of edges. So that's the Euler's relationship. Solids having identical regular polygonal faces and with the same number of faces meeting at every vertex are called platonic solids. The five types of regular tetrahedron, cube, regular octahedron, regular dodecahedron and regular icosahedrons are the only solids that are platonic solids. So remember these words. And we know the shapes you are getting. So remember all these and number of faces, edges and vertices. So you can remember easily for icosahedron, the total is 32 and 20 faces. Dodecahedron, 32 is the total and 12 faces are there. Octa, octahedron, 8 faces are there. And cube and cuboid, both got same number of faces and vertices. So practice and try to make all these solids and figure out number of edges, vertices and faces.